Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I am at Wayne's Western World today in Northboro, Massachusetts. And we're taking a look at this Corral model number A3446. It's cowboy boot party time. Excellent. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya. And then I'll be on my way. Guys, I'm so pumped again to be back at the Western Wear stores. Now that the world is opening back up, I haven't been in a Western Wear store doing a quick impression like this in over a year. And this is my second of two videos getting back at it here at Wayne's Western World in Northboro, Massachusetts. It's just off. Uh, the 90 a little bit you gotta visit Wayne he's awesome got lots of stories and of course he's got lots of great boots here as well today we're taking a look at a corral boot this is model number a3446 like I said and it is a beautiful men's corral boot so let's take a closer look at it and give it a run down. This men's corral boot A3446 is cowhide, full grain leather on the foot and the shaft, and it features a beautiful narrow square toe. This is one of my favorite toe shapes, and I think it just looks spectacular. It's a little bit more narrow than some of the other narrow square toes that I've seen on this channel recently. The more narrow, the better. That's what I think anyways. It also stands at 12 inches tall and has some nice black embroidery in the shaft as well. Most likely done by machine, but it still looks spectacular. Down here we have a leather block heel, it appears, and it's about two inches tall. And we also have a leather outsole with some lemon wood pegs here, which looks great, but also a full welt. So oftentimes you'll see like a three quarter welt here and then lemon wood pegs on cowboy boots, but this has like almost a full welt all the way around. Boulet does this a lot too. And whenever I see the stitching come all the way down and around with lemon wood pegs, that's a good construction that should last you a good long while. And of course, if you ever wear this leather sole through, this Goodyear welt here means that you can get it replaced several times. I have a, a Goodyear welt boulet boot that's been resold six times. So this kind of boot has a very long life to it. And of course, as you wear it more, it will become more comfortable throughout the years because it is mostly leather. On the inside, it's leather lined all the way through. And it's one of those hung leather linings. So it covers up the side seam on the inside. So you're not gonna get any of the rubbing that you might get on some of the other cowboy boots that you see where they sew that seam up on the inside. Sometimes that can rub against people's ankles. Corral has done a great job covering up that seam for um, maximum comfort and you, don't, you won't get any blisters at your ankles. The leather lining around the foot is leather as well. Leather lining is leather, of course. <laughs> for an insole, it's a foam insole, it's non-removable, and it has a leather top. This is all leather on the inside. It's a classic Mexican-made boot that's coming in at $229.50 here at Wayne's Western World. Now let's try it on and see how it looks and feels. All right, I got the Corral boots on right now, and wow, this is a nice boot. I love the feeling of the leather on the inside and the insole feels great too. It's got much more of a foam cushion feeling underneath that leather than what I would have imagined by just looking at it. This feels spectacular. Um, the leather is nice and supple. It's got a good amount of heel slip. This is a really nice made in Mexico boot that just looks spectacular too. The counter feels great. The heel size is really nice too. Like I know that the specs said that it was two inches tall, but I'm not really feeling like it's a two inch heel. It just feels very natural. And a lot of that has to do with 
the cushion, especially the extra cushion in the insole that they have at the heel and at the ball of the foot. It seems to be something that is a theme here at Wayne's Western World is that both of these boots that I've tried, I tried the Laredo Heath in the last video, they both have a little bit more cushion at the ball of the foot, which is a relief. And it's really nice on some of these boots with the taller heel because your foot is gonna angle a little bit more and more pressure, more weight is gonna be put on the ball of the foot than maybe some of the Stockman heels or the Roper heels that you may try when you're at the boot store or Western wear store or something like that. Just a really great looking boot here. The POV here and geez, look at that toe shape. That narrow square toe just looks spectacular. I think it's such a classic look. You can't go wrong with it. This would make for a great dress boot. Now let's sit back down and I'll give you my final thoughts of this quick impression of the Corel boots. It's my first time back in a Western wear store doing a quick impression in over a year and I almost, maybe pretty much, had a spiritual experience in this boot. I think it is awesome, especially for the money coming in at $229.50. This is a really well-made boot and it feels spectacular and looks spectacular too. It's just awesome. I mean, there's gonna be some things about this boot that aren't the best. Uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of the heel. I think they could make this look a little bit better uh, with the stacked leather. It seems to be like a block leather heel or like a um, sort of a, a bonded leather maybe. So it's not the best heel, but it still looks really good. And when it's black like this, you can shine it up really nice and nobody is ever gonna know whether it's a, uh, a bonded leather heel, a stacked leather heel, or what have you, but the leather feels great. The leather lining is also really nice. The way they stitched the seam inside is spectacular. And like I said, that non-removable insole is very cushiony and feels nice as well with it being all leather inside. For $230 pretty much, this is a really good deal. So. I would highly consider this in the future. If you were looking for a dress boot, it's also really good for dancing too because it's got the leather outsole. A lot of these companies say, hey, you can use this boot for dancing. Laredo did it with this boot here and it's got a rubber outsole. It's gonna be much harder to dance, especially the square dancing styles, the Western dancing styles um, in a rubber outsole. You gotta do it in a leather outsole if you wanna do it right. So this is a really nice dress boot that you can dance in as well for a great price. I'm really impressed with what Corral is offering here for the price. And if you're ever traveling through Massachusetts on the 90, head on up to Northboro, Massachusetts, right here at Wayne's Western World, and he'll give you 15% off your purchase if you mention me and that you watched this video on YouTube. I mean, 15% off and it's already at a good price in my opinion. You can't go wrong if you're looking for a black dress boot. Let me know what you think of this Corral boot model number A3446 down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. You guys are the best. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you around. Peace. Those black Corral narrow square toe boots hit it right. A great dress boot for going out at night. Thanks so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this video up here that I did about another pair of Corral boots at Rick Walker's in Boston. Or I got a video down here about my latest album and the art behind the cover. Subscribe if you're liking this content and I'll see you next time.